Hey guys, it is Tanya with Thrifty Treasures. Welcome to another live video. Can you hear me okay, Henry? Uh-oh. Oopsie, that's what happens when you're in a hurry to try and set up a video. <laughs> um, <clears throat> okay, so I'm hoping you can hear me okay. All good, okay, thanks Henry. So, and another reason reason I wanted to bring you guys a live video is because um, trying to do one at least once a week and to um, conquer my fears <laughs> and get over all the shyness that I have, right? So, um, yeah. <clears throat> so, um, as a lot of you know, Paul Cantu is like my favorite YouTuber. And um, <clears throat> so I'm always watching his hauls and the sports clothing that he picks up. And so I've been picking up a couple things. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to send all this stuff to him or if I'm going to actually try and sell it myself. We'll see. So um, the first thing I want to show you, though, is something I've actually had for a while. I've had it so long, I can't even remember what I paid for it. I believe I got it at a garage sale, probably for less than a dollar. And it is this St. Louis, I believe this is the hockey hat, snapback. Now, this hat, actually, I had it listed on eBay and did... Um, it sold already, but and it sold for like $50, but the person never ended up paying for it, and I never ended up uh, relisting it. It just kind of got lost in that uh, un unsold stuff, so I never relisted it. So I'm thinking about putting this back up on eBay again, and I feel like I could get 50 for it, but I'm probably going to start it at an auction and do $24.99 and see what happens. So, um, And it's in really good condition. So... Um, yeah, National Hockey League. That's right, Henry. So I got that. And then I got this one here. Now, whenever, if I do decide to list this stuff, I can always ask my husband about um, <clears throat> the name of the teams because I'm not 100% sure. So I have this uh, Pacers. It's kind of got this um, vintage type material to it. And um, this is what the sleeves look like. This one is, um, it says Pro Player NBA. And it's a size extra, extra large. And I picked this up at Goodwill. I think the men's shirts now are like uh, $6.49, if I'm not mistaken. So, um, and it's even got, what is this, little, little zippers here on the side? That's kind of cool. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see. I haven't really looked at the value of any of that. So, um, now here I have a yellow uh, Tommy for your mommy. <laughs> as uh, Paul Cantu would say. Uh, like a windbreaker type jacket. It's yellow and it's got the red and navy blue on the collar up here. <clears throat> now this is a size medium and it's really nice. I don't even know what I could possibly get for this on uh, uh, as Henry says, St. Louis Blues on the hat. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hockey, right, Henry? Hi, Nancy! <laughs> So, yeah, I thought that was kind of neat. Um, when we were in Livingston at my in-law's house uh, for Easter, and <clears throat> one of my nephews, or my only nephew, actually, was talking that he had, um, I guess the kids are now kind of wearing the vintage uh, color block jackets, and so that's like kind of coming back in style, I guess. So, and then I believe I paid either 2 or $3 for this. Um, I believe it's, uh, what's his name? Is it Shaquille O'Neal? <laughs> Little uh, tank here. Now, this doesn't have the little block down here in the center like uh, most of these type of shirts do. It's either on that side or this side. I can't remember. And um, But it does say it has the champion and the uh, NBA logo patch right there. Now, it's to my understanding that a lot of times this stuff is uh, – it's faked, right? So a lot of people make, uh, I guess they try and make these, but they're not fake. It's like not the real thing. Because I guess they can go for good money. But I really was completely unsure about this one. Uh, so I don't even know if I'll attempt to sell it. Maybe it would do good on my antique booth. I don't know. We'll see. And then this is the last one I wanted to show you guys. This is... This one is says Philly on it. It's huge. And so I believe it, it's a size 5X. Hey, Chris, how are you? Hi, Fran. 
Okay, so Chris, I was just telling everybody I really don't know a whole lot about the sport, so I can take any help, all the help I can get. <laughs> um, but this one says 15 on the back. And uh, let's see what the label it says, NLBM. So that's what that looks like. Um, yeah, it's a five, size 5X. Five and I got this one at Goodwill too. It was, um, I think six forty nine is what they charge for. Uh, it says uh, Philadelphia Stars, nineteen thirty three to nineteen fifty two. I don't know. Is this anything, guys? Do you think? <laughs> Let's see. Um, hey, Turtle Trader, how are you doing? Good to see you here. So yeah, that's my quick haul. Um, I just want to come on and show you guys like the little sports stuff that I got. Um, Chris says, Glenn and College Picker are super good at that stuff. And Max, how do you say his last name? Is it Fra, Frey? But yeah, I remember meeting Max. He's really a cool kid. Um, okay, I'll have to ask them and see what they think about that, Chris. Thank you. Um, so yeah, um, it is about 1030 here right now. I've got to leave the house here in about 15 minutes to take my son to an orthodontist appointment. So I just thought I would come on real quick and conquer my fears and get that live video in for this week. <laughs> so does anybody have any questions at all or questions about any of the stuff I showed you guys? <clears throat> I mean, I've never really, I think I have one sporting jersey listed right now and it's actually been up forever and a day i think it's the green bay packers and it was in my store on ebay as a buy it now for a really long time so i think i'm pretty sure i sent a whole bunch of stuff to auction this week so i'm pretty sure that um it's on auction right now i think i might have it uh listed for like 24.99 or something um mlb major league baseball oh okay on this one turtle this one, this one's probably the baseball, Philly. Yeah. Um, Chris says, we can do a live vid on my channel whenever you want. Oh, really? <laughs> During the day? Yeah, that would work perfect for me because um, both of my children are in school. So I'd love to come on your channel. I don't know what we're going to talk about, but I'd love to hang out with you, Chris. Um, so, yeah. Um, do you guys sell any of the sporting clothing? I know that, um, like I said, the vintage stuff can do really, really good. And I found a lot of really good vintage things at, um, what's that store called? Um, Family Thrift Outlet. And I think the most you'll ever pay for anything is like $2. Hey, Jimmy John. I think that's you, Mal, you Jimmy, Jimmy John. Okay, yay, Chris, let's do it. Um, Yvonne, hey, how are you? <laughs> Oh, I know, right? Because I know Yvonne watches a lot of Paul Can too, um, just like I do. He's so funny, and he's really been doing a lot of that. Uh, <clears throat> I can't remember if it's Offer Up or Let Go lately, and he's been scoring some really good uh, sporting, uh, I guess you call them jerseys. I don't even know what you call them. So, But, yeah, I know that they can be pretty collectible as well. Um, that Jimmy says that Philly jersey is uh, – Negro League? Yeah, I think I saw that on there. What do you think I should start it for, Jimmy, if I put it on eBay? Let me see. It seems like I saw that patch. Where was it? Oh, yeah, here it is. So there's that patch. Thrift God can too. I know, Chris, right? I remember, like, I, I even knew about him before um, you guys had him on your uh, Hangout. So, yeah, the Green Room Hangout. But, yeah, he is hilarious. And it was super fun to meet him in person as well. <laughs> hey, going on, Grumpy. How are you? So I have 18 viewers. That's exciting. Hi, 18 viewers. So, um, does anybody have any questions or anything? I did a, um, I went to a church garage sale this morning and I made a little video about it. So I'll be putting that together while my son's at his orthodontist appointment and I'll hopefully upload that, um, later on tonight or tomorrow for you guys. 
So I knew what you're jelly about, Yvonne, that I met him. Oh, my God, he probably thinks I'm a total stalker. I've already decided if I see him in the store again, I'm probably not going to walk up to him. I mean, if he walks up to me, great. But, um, yeah, I don't think that uh, I should keep bugging him if I see him again. <laughs> um, Nancy asked, where did you get that Tommy Hilfiger jacket? I bought it at a local, um, like a church thrift store. Um, yes, Chris, I will definitely be at the meetup this uh, July, I believe. Hey, Thelma, how are you? So if you guys don't know about the green room, it's a great place to be. It's a bunch of like-minded resellers, and um, we share bolos in the group, and there's lots of good discussions going on about eBay and Amazon and other things as well. If you want to join, the link's down below in the description box. <laughs> Yeah, Chris, I'm super excited about the Hangout this year, and I'll be bringing my husband, Kurt. So um, maybe you guys can talk Toyota talk. <laughs> Actually, the lease on my Toyota 4Runner is going to be um, ending. Yeah, Kurt's coming. Ending uh, next month in May. And I was all ready to get me a brand new 4Runner, and then I think Kurt has other plans. <laughs> I think he wants to buy this one, and then we're going to sell it and maybe get a new one. Uh, a 2018 model but I believe if I'm not mistaken he said the forerunners or the, the model of them is changing up a little bit for 2018 so I'm kind of I'm kind of w wanting to wait and see what they look like um, <laughs> yeah he loves to talk Toyota for sure but yeah my kids really like that orange one so I'd love to have that orange forerunner it's really sharp and I like the um, the black rims as well I think that's really sharp looking um, Mayu Jimmy says, curious, having issues with yard sales, treasure map seems to not be showing all sales and screwing up actual locations on the map. Um, I've not really been having any problems with either one of those. Um, like I said, I use the, um, yard sale treasure maps and that's the, is that the blue one? I don't know. There's like a blue one and a red one. But I, I have noticed not, they're not getting all the sales because I've been hitting some good sales that weren't even uh on the uh let's see so yeah yard, yard sale treasure map and garage sellers oh g seller it's spelled g-s-a g-s-a-l-r dot com so yeah check those out jimmy and yeah there was a big sale this morning i don't know if you want to drive over to this area jimmy but if you message me um i'll tell you what church that was at if you want to go check it out and it just started this morning at eight and um, I think Saturday everything goes 50 off and they had a whole room of just electronics, which I don't really know a ton about. So I just kind of did a quick loop around in there. I didn't see anything that really caught my eye. Um, Thelma says lots to, lots to it inside hall this week. Um, yeah, TRD Pro, Chris, that's what it's called. They are sharp looking. I really want one. And I actually like the way the forerunners look that are a little bit lifted. But Kurt says that we have to buy one before we can put a lift on it. <laughs> okay, so Chris says 2017 colors are cement. That's an interesting name. Desert tan, white, and black. I think the black are sharp looking too. Um, oh, your meetup, Thelma. Okay. <laughs> Lots to inside hall this week. I still don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so Jimmy says, thanks, but I'd only go first. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. I don't know. Some people like to go back. Like I know C and say she'll go to the estate sales and, and she'll go back on the days that um, I guess when they, whenever they mark stuff down and she gets some really good stuff. So you never know. And you never know if they don't put more stuff out. So, um, Chris says you can buy them lifted at certain dealerships. Oh, okay, warranty too. That's good. Oh, okay, you're answering a question, Thelma. Okay, Thelma, I hope you don't mind that we changed our meetup. Um, it just seemed like there was only going to be a handful of people there. And um, I thought it'd be um, really fun if we could um, try and get a really big group together like we did last time. So I'm hoping that uh, Saturday, May 20th, is going to work for everybody. I'm hoping nothing comes up with my kids for that date, on that date. So um, keep my fingers crossed for that. 
but yeah, I've already talked to my mom. She's going to watch my little girl for me. And um, let me know, are we going to go to your area, Thelma? Are we still going to do your area drifting over there? Or do you guys want to come down to my area? I'm, I'm good either way. So, um, yep, yep. So did you guys hit any garage sales this morning? I know you probably did, Chris. We always seem to have at least one or two garage sales on a Thursday around here in my area. Um, but yeah, there's another community sale that's going on, and I noticed it wasn't even listed in, in either one of the garage sale apps. So I'm going to be hitting that up tomorrow. Um, what is this? Okay, Thelma. Okay, sounds good. And again, if you still want to have your meetup, I think that would be great too. Um, why can't you do Friday garage sales, Jimmy? Are you are you having to work? Yeah. Chris says not today, but tomorrow I will. I know you will. You probably got your trusty list going, huh, Chris? <laughs> I did notice, like, in one of these apps, I forget which one I was using, but I can, I can, like, touch it and um, do my favorites, and then it'll bring up a little list for me. It might have been, which one was it? Okay, I'm just going to go look real quick. I think it's this one, the G Stellar. I don't know if you guys can see that. But yeah, I see that little heart and you tap it. And then when you're done, like you can have a little list of your favorite ones. So that's cool. Um, Chris says, may dye my hair sharp cheddar orange. Good idea. <laughs> hey, whatever floats your boat, right? <laughs> Change is good. Hi, Carol. Good morning. How are you? Oh, Jimmy says he can't go on Fridays because the man holds holds me down during the work week. Yeah. Yeah. So I forget you still like you're still working full time, right, Jimmy? And if I'm not mistaken, you're doing something in the medical industry, if I remember correctly. Seems like whenever I saw you on the other side of town, whenever I ran into you at that thrift shop, um, seems like you were wearing scrubs. But I could be making that up. I'm not really sure. <laughs> Because I'm old and I can't remember anything. Um, hey, Michael, how are you? So good to see you. Uh, Michael says, make a ride in Lake City tomorrow. I have to pick up my auction wins. Oh, okay, do you go, do you go to that, um, what's it called? Like, Is it called LC? I can't remember. Maybe that stands for Lake City. Duh. <laughs> but yeah, there is an auction place uh, here in Lake City. Okay, Jimmy says, yep, he works in the IT and the medical center. Very cool. What's old? I don't know. Whenever you can't remember stuff. <laughs> um, Nancy says she works full time as well, and she's a newbie. Oh yeah, eBay is addicting, for sure. So, Michael, what area are you from? I can't remember, but I know that you're you're in Houston because you came to our last meetup. And if you guys want to join uh, our reseller group on Facebook, it's called Third Coast Resellers and Beyond. We'd love to see you over there and um, we have meetups and we, we we all meet up and we go to garage sales or um, and uh, the thrift shops and go grab some lunch it's a lot of fun Kingwood okay Michael is from Kingwood yeah that's a little bit of a drive for you to come down to this area but we were talking about doing the next meetup in Thelma's area I believe she was gonna head that up so um, yeah Okay, so it's getting to be about the 1045 mark, and my son's got to be um, at the orthodontist at 1115, so I better wrap this up. And um, I just want to thank all of you guys for joining me and um, watching me conquer my fears and do this live video all by my little self here. So um, please give my video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Hey, Kathy, how are you? And um, we will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.